Dad led the clan with his right hand man. Then I had a plan to start my own gang. I was the son of Reynaldo the Brood. That was until he gave me the boot. I wasn't cute. Then we had a small dispute. My mom and stepdad, they treated me great. I found the truth out, then I started to hate my, my cursed fate. Well, my dad would procreate. Should I be a top hat? Or should I be a copycat? I'm feeling evil, think I'll prove them wrong. I'm Roger, baby, and this is my gang. We tend to go out with a bang. If you don't like us, then don't try to hang I'm coming back like a boomerang Ugh, there's nothing to fucking do in here Hey you, can an inmate get some kind of entertainment here? <laughs> yeah right, as if I'd reward the guy who shot the previous general Not gonna happen Look, I already told you, that was Roger why the fuck would I do something as dumb as that? Uh, still not buying it. Alright then, why don't you just get Roger's file or something and go read it for yourself? You know what? Fine! What the- Colonel Tally, what are you doing? Oh, I was just gonna take a look at Roger Nickeltop's file, sir. Seeing that he is no use to us after all. Hmm, yes. I suppose that's alright. But what brought this up all of a sudden? Ugh, it's that new inmate, Craig Oates. He won't shut up about how Roger killed the general and is the leader of the Bola Hat gang. Well, hold on. I wouldn't just close the door on that theory all of a sudden. He might be onto something. Uh, take that file over to him. Maybe his criminal brain could be of some use. Uh, will do. Well, Mr. Oates, it comes to my attention you don't know when to shut up, do ya? And it comes to my attention that you government men are all stupid. I am not the leader of the fucking Bola Hat gang. Well, we'll just see about that. Colonel Tally, read Roger's file. Sir, yes, sir. <clears throat> well, go on, read it. Permission to be honest, sir? Yes, yes, what? I don't know how to read. <laughs> it's not funny! Cheese and crackers. I just had to promote you of all people, huh? Give me that! Now, let me see here. <clears throat> Wait, what the... Huh? Wait a minute, Colonel, this isn't even Roger's file! You got the wrong one! I told you I can't read! Gosh! I swear to God, the second we're done with this, I want you unhooked on phonics! That's an order! Sir, yes sir. I'm sorry. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. Now let me go get Roger's real file. Alright, where were we? Ahem. <clears throat> Roger Nickeltop was the supposed leader of the Bola Hat Gang. He was the firstborn son of the notorious criminal and then to be leader of the Top Hat clan, Reynaldo Copperbottom, and the heir to his mother and Queen of Norway, Rosemary Nickeltop's throne. Reynaldo claims that his fling with Rosemary was just that, a fling. He wanted nothing at all to do with Roger or his mother, completely cutting himself from their lives. Roger was then raised alongside his two cousins, Richie Dimeside and Big Mac by his mother and her then-boyfriend, Dr. Keith Outing, and his adopted daughter, Trinity Outing. Outing would conduct experiments on Roger and his cousins, such as to see if they could teleport and if he could clone them. Things went smoothly, and they would rule the country of Norway in peace for many, many years. That is until Roger began to grow up. His middle to high school years were tough. He was constantly bullied and mocked. He would hide away in his room often and stay there listening to Bad Day by Daniel Powder. One night on Roger's 13th birthday, Outing revealed to Roger the truth about his real father. Irate and apparently aroused by a magazine, Roger teleported straight to his dad, Reynaldo, only to be disappointed and heartbroken. He still never wanted anything to do with him. Roger went back home and was encouraged by Outing to become a better criminal than Reynaldo and throw it in his face. Outing was kicked out of the house while Roger did exactly what he said. He changed who he was at school. No longer was he getting bullied, but he himself became the bully. His cousins and him ran the school and eventually were expelled. 
This didn't stop them, however. They began to shoplift, spray paint, and even start fights. Rosemary was horrified with the road that Roger was going down, hoping that this new attitude wouldn't ruin the reputation of her royal family. In fear of the news breaking out that the Prince of Norway had gone rogue, she had no choice but to kick him out of her mansion. Around this time, Roger, who was 18 at the time, applied to the top at Glan, finding out his father, Reynaldo, had passed away. He was sent to work under his half-brother Reginald's ruling. He, over time, had enough, and gathered different members to leave the Topat clan and start his own criminal organization, the Bolahat Gang. After multiple disputes, gems taken, breakouts, deaths, and revivals, Roger had apparently killed General Galeforce for being deemed as a threat to the government. He also exterminated his newly resurrected father, and even broke all of the Top Hats out of prison. He became the most wanted man on the planet, both by the government and apparently by the ladies too. He became a father to a young boy named Rowan and raises him all by himself. However, due to new evidence, it is unknown if it was him behind all of his crimes or not. With Craig Oates being the supposed leader of the Bolahat gang, Roger might have been a puppet after all. Hopefully, we will have a clear answer soon. And you will. How so? <laughs> you knuckleheads took my phone before I was strip searched. Check for yourself. I knew that thing would come in handy. Let's see, what are we exactly looking for? Check the videos, if you say so. Uh, is this the moment where General Galeforce was murdered? Yep. And you were there? And you witnessed the whole thing? Sure did. In fact, I filmed a shit ton of things from the gang. Just in case something like this would happen. Sorry to interrupt, but filming this could possibly be more proof that you directed Roger so you would be more in the clear. Figured you'd say something like that. Which is also why I have filmed every single meeting where Roger ordered us to do something. Hell, even the cream of the crop itself. I even filled the conversation him and I had just before we headed out and you took my ass in. So go ahead, take a listen. Ready? Aim! Shit, Commander, what do we do? I will do what I must, but I need Karma Chameleon's help with this. Huh? Why me? Just shut up and go with it! <laughs> Alright, whatever. He's absolutely right. The timing of this video falls in line with the time I captured him. I don't know. It still could be a coincidence. It's not enough evidence. Give him the lie detector test. Sir, yes, sir. Come with me, inmate. With pleasure. I don't got anything to hide. Later that night. Well? Well, um... I don't know where to start with this. I asked them five different questions. They go as follows. Were you ever the leader of the Bullhead Gang? He said no. I asked, did you ever meet Roger prior to the breakout at the penitentiary? He said no. Did you order Roger at all to shoot the general or anything to clear your name? He said no. I asked if he and the other Decade Agreed members actually fell for the bomb in the head lie. He said yes. And finally, I asked if he was thrown under the bus by Roger just for the other bowler hats to get away. He said yes. And the results were? All five questions came back true. He didn't lie once. That son of a bitch! So, the truth's revealed. <laughs> Orders, General? I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is Roger's gonna pay. And I will not stop next time until his ass is locked up, or even worse, dead! Contact Captain Maryville and his men. I want them back here immediately. We already know where Hayden is, the backstabbing bastard. That being said, I want Peter and his men to set a new target on the bowler hats. And more importantly, Roger Nickeltop. That prick's gonna pay for killing General Galeforce. And what about me? I think I'm owed some kind of reward for helping you with this newfound information. Hmm. I'll think of something. Thanks for telling the truth. Usually we're told once a gang member, always a gang member. Not really used to people ratting out their bosses. <laughs> Whatever. I just don't like getting fucking thrown under the buses all. And if I could make a recommendation, don't kill Roger. I would love nothing more than to be locked in a cell with that double-crossing motherfucker. You know what? You got yourself a deal. 
The second we capture his ass, he's all yours. Perfect. <laughs> My dad led the clan with his right hand man. Then 